Zack Snyder and the Justice League. Now, apparently there is something called Justice Con uh, that they were holding the same time Comic Con uh, came out because Comic Con, in case you don't know, was being broadcast mostly from people's homes because of the virus. And, oh, excuse me. By and large, they did the same thing with the Justice, Justice Con. Uh, in fact, as you can see here. So is Adam the one who did the first uh, JL shirt for you? Yeah. Uh, Zack Snyder was doing this Zoom video of these these women. Um, I don't know who these women are. But uh, he had this whole meeting. Uh, I encourage you to watch this. It's on AV Club. The only thing I was really in, re interested in was some footage from the Snyder Cut. The Snyder Cut. And he did deliver, although it wasn't very long. And I'm about to show you right now. So get ready. You've probably already seen this on the internet because I'm a few days late with this. But still, it's my show. I can show it when I want. Here it goes. Assuming you're Alfred. I'm looking over there. That's it. I'm going to play it one more time. I'm assuming you're Alfred. I'm looking over there. Now, okay, the first thing I want you to note is that Superman's wearing this black suit, which I think is awesome, and we didn't get to see that in the uh, Josh Whedon's Justice League. And, of course, also, you might not know, I don't know whether, I didn't understand one thing. They, they did point out in that video with uh, Zack Snyder, you can tell that I, I don't think this, his face has been post-processed to remove a mustache. So I don't know whether they actually removed, they just shot this again. Cause I think they've been reshooting um, some scenes for them for, for this actual Snyder cut. But I re do remember seeing Alfred looking up and saying, I'm glad you're here or something like that in the original uh, trailer for justice league. So naturally Joe we Whedon had this awesome scene cut. Cause I don't know. I'm not going to say he's an idiot, but. Cause he did do the Avengers, but I just, I was disappointed when I, when I didn't see this scene and according to, and, and, and this is even crazier, actually not, not so crazy cause it immediately made sense. In another article I read, Zack Snyder did confirm that he didn't choose Josh Whedon to replace him on justice league. Now I'd actually read that he chose Josh Whedon, but when I heard read this article, it all made sense because you see studios lie, and why do they lie? Because well, this is one reason they lie. When they usually when they take a movie away from a director, they just cut them off. I I remember Louis C.K. talking about doing uh, Pootie Tang. Uh, he was kicked you know, fire from his, the movie after he finished shooting and he didn't, they, he wasn't allowed to edit it. And somebody asked him on Twitter, um, how the movie was going here. And he was like, I don't know. I haven't seen it. And somebody at the studio saw that and they, they flew him. They immediately flew him out to Los Angeles, all expenses paid. So he, he could watch this movie because they did not want to get the studio did not want to get in trouble with the director's guild of America because the director's guild of America has some strict rules about who gets credit for what. And that just spooked him. So my feeling was that when Zack Snyder left, cause his, his daughter, if you don't know, his daughter committed suicide. So he was having some personal issues. He took time off and he left. But in this article, Zack Snyder confirms that that decision was actually made by committee. So they actually, somebody lied about him picking Josh Whedon as a, as a successor. And the reason they, they did it, I, I would bet gold on my reasoning. I think the reason they did it 
was because they didn't want to piss off the Directors Guild of America. Because the guilds have a lot of power in Hollywood. And there's so many of them. There's a Writers Guild. There's a Screenwriters Guild. There's a Screen Actors Guild. There's a guild for everything in Los Angeles. And they're very strict about who gets credit for what. So um, I think saying Zack Snyder chose Josh Whedon probably would have smoothed over any kind of uh, problems they saw uh, that they were going to get with the Directors Guild. Just think about all the movies you've seen and all the. Why do you think the credits roll at the beginning of most movies you see? Well, that's that's a requirement from these guilds. You have to give credit. In fact, George Lucas was famously fined for not having opening credits on Star Wars. That's right. He was fined like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and as a result, he. Um, he left the Screen Actors Guild. So if you're wondering why he didn't direct Empire Strikes Back or Return to Jedi or, or, or really anything uh, until we got back to the prequels, that was why. But yeah, um, they have very strict rules about that. And Zack Snyder has said he would blow this version of Justice League up if there was even a frame from anything Josh Whedon shot for the movie so that tells me they gotta be reshooting especially since the movie sucks so badly and they tried to make it funny which you didn't even go with the whole tone set up in the man of steel and batman v superman so he just reading really screwed the pooch when he made that uh remade uh the justice league and i can't wait to see the snyder cut can't wait to see it 